A grim warning today from the head of the Federal Reserve. Chairman Jerome Powell says America is on the long road to recovery, but warns of economic tragedy if the U.S. can't get the coronavirus pandemic under control. He says the impacts of a new significant COVID wave could lead to a slowdown in economic activity, and it could lead to more job losses. For other COVID-19 headlines, let's check in with some of our correspondents across the country. I'm Christine Romans in New York. With polls widening, Wall Street is growing more comfortable with the possibility of a Joe Biden win and even a blue wave in November. Goldman Sachs told clients Monday Democrats gaining unified control of Washington raises the chances of a fiscal stimulus package of at least $2 trillion and longer term spending on infrastructure, climate, health care and education. Goldman acknowledges a blue wave would likely mean higher corporate taxes but a Democratic sweep would mean easier U.S. fiscal policy and less risk of new trade tensions. Good for investors. I'm Andy Scholes in Milton, Georgia. Well, the NFL is reminding teams to not get complacent or lazy when it comes to COVID-19 protocols. If they do, they could face harsh penalties. In a memo obtained by CNN, Roger Goodell warns teams that failure to follow protocols could result in forfeiting games or losing draft picks. The league is also installing video monitoring systems to make sure teams are following the rules. Player gatherings outside of team facilities are now also banned. That comes as many players on the Raiders were fined for not wearing masks at a fundraising event last month. I'm Chloe Malas in New York. The Batman movie has been delayed yet again due to the coronavirus pandemic. The film's movie studio, Warner Brothers Pictures, has confirmed to CNN that the film that was expected October 2021 has now been pushed back to March of 2022. Like CNN, Warner Brothers Pictures is owned by Warner Media. Just last month, production on The Batman was shut down after the film's star, Robert Pattinson, tested positive for COVID-19. Now, this news also comes on the heels of other major film releases being pushed back, along with the announcement from Regal and Cineworld Theaters that they would be suspending operations at their movie theaters in the United States and the UK until further notice. Thank you so much to my colleagues for that. We do have some breaking news. All but one member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff have gone into quarantine after a top Coast Guard official tested positive for the coronavirus. Plus, why the White House is turning down help from the CDC to contact Trace after multiple staffers test positive. 